Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Supply Chain Talks. Today we are going to talk about different types of inventory. But before we go into the different types of inventory, let's have a look at what exactly is an inventory. Inventory is those stocks or items which are used to support production like raw materials and WIP or supporting activities like material repair and operating supplies or customer service like finished goods and spare parts. But we also need to understand inventory from a financial perspective as well. So from a financial angle, inventory is defined as the money or the capital of the company engaged in the system. So inventory from a financial perspective refers to also equipment, land, machinery, fixtures, and also it refers to the raw materials, finished goods, and WIP, and so forth. Based on these definitions, in my opinion, there are 10 types of inventory. So let's go through them one by one. The first type is raw material. Raw material is basically the purchase items or extracting material that needs to go through a manufacturing process before they are able to be used as products or components. An example for that would be like in the paint industry, solvents, resins, uh, pigments. These are the raw materials which goes through a manufacturing process and we get paint in the end. A second example is from the cable industry that the raw materials for that are GS wire and copper which are used to make the cables. The copper is used to make the wires while the GS wires are used to do the shielding in the wires and the cables. The second type is the packing materials. As the name suggests, this inventory is used to pack and ship the finished goods. Basically, there are three types of packing material, primary packing, secondary packing, and miscellaneous packing. Primary packing includes the bag, box, or container in which the product itself is stored and is displayed in the retail outlet. If you look at an example like laundry detergent, the bottle in which the laundry detergent is put is the primary packing. The secondary packing includes all the material that is used for storage and convenient transport of the product. Uh, for example, the corrugated boxes used to store the detergent bottles and transport it to the uh, retail outlets. Miscellaneous packing material includes all the other types of packing which are used for storage and transportation such as bubble wrap, foam peanuts, shing wraps, pallets and so forth. The third type of inventory is work in process or WIP. This basically includes all the material that has been issued to the production flow for processing. So any item that is available on the floor constitutes as work in process. Uh, taking an example, um, in an auto industry, brake plates or the car seats that have been issued to the floor for assembly constitute as work in process or WIP. The fourth type of inventory is semi-finished goods. Semi-finished goods are those items which have been processed and now are in storage waiting for the final operations to be done to convert them into the required size dimensions or specifications. An example is like uh, in a thread manufacturing, uh, we used to get a lot of orders for uh, black uh, polyester threads. An example for this would be in a thread manufacturing scenario, uh, black is a very common color required in different sizes, in different lengths. So what we used to do back in my tenure in Quartz, Pakistan is that we used to dye the polyester thread in yarn and we used to dry it and then keep it in storage. And when an order used to come, we used to issue the semi-product black yarn to the floor and then finish them as per the length required. For example, 1000 meters, 5000 meters, or 10,000 meters. In this way, we were able to utilize idle machine time and also we were able to cater to the customer demand 
very quickly. So our delivery of the product to the customer was quicker. The fifth type of inventory is finished good. It is the inventory which has completed all the manufacturing process, has gone through the quality test and check, and is now released for final dispatch or invoicing to the customer. Example, a finished car, detergent, uh, cables. These are all examples of finished goods. The sixth type of inventory is goods in transit. A lot of material that are purchased have to come from overseas suppliers or over long distances. And as per some in quote terms, the ownership of the goods are transferred to the buyer as soon as either they leave the factory like in Xworks or they are loaded onto the ship like CNNF. In that case, these inventories become part of the buyer's inventory. So, but physically they have not reached the warehouse. So these are classified as goods in transit. The seventh type of inventory is returned goods. These are finished goods that have been returned back from the customer uh, for any reason, like customer complaint, uh, incorrect documentation, the customer was not available, so it came back. These can be good goods as well without any defects, but since they have been invoiced, the ownership is not with the company, but with the customer. So unless or until the respective issue is resolved with these return goods, like if the documentation was incorrect, correct the documentation, send it back, or there was a quality complaint, uh, correct the defect, or entertain the quality complaint and fix it and return back to the customer, or if it cannot be returned back, then a good returns note has to be done and it has to be then transferred from good return to finished goods or to scrap if it cannot be used. That is another inventory type that we will talk about a few minutes later. The eighth type of inventory is MRO. MRO basically stands for Maintenance, Repair and Operating Supply. It is also sometimes termed as consumables. Example of maintenance and repair are like the spare parts, lubricating oil, nuts and bolts, used to do the maintenance or repair of the equipment in the factory. Operating supplies include PPEs, stationery, pantry items that basically supports the operations. The ninth type of inventory is assets. Assets basically include anything that has a capital value or are taken in the financial records. From a financial perspective, it also includes the inventory, but from a supply chain perspective, I would only limit this to the equipment, machinery, and similar uh, items which are classified as assets and are in the operations. From a supply chain perspective, assets is defined as the tangible resources such as the buildings, the land, the equipment and machinery, the office furniture, the IT equipment, laptop computers, and so forth. The last but not the least type of inventory is scrap. Scrap is any material that is outside the defined quality parameters or they possess characteristics that make it impossible for rework. Scrap can be generated from every other inventory type. So if a raw material is expired or goes bad, it, has, it is now termed as scrap. It has to be transferred to scrap. A finished product fails a quality test. Again, it has to be transferred to the scrap inventory type. A customer complaint comes back and it cannot be reworked. So that has to be, the return good has to be moved to scrap. Basically, in layman terms, any bad inventory is scrap, but still has a value in the financial records. So before the decision of disposal of scrap, the value has to be written off in the books and then only the disposal can be carried out, either in the form of throwing it away or recycling or selling it off. This concludes our session on inventory types. If you have any queries or comments, 
please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.